This is a walkthrough of setting up Habitat on your local machine for development. First of all, you go to github.com slash sitecore slash habitat. In there, you'll find the um, github.com um, clone URL. Copy that on, into the clipboard and then switch to your local machine. Now, the defaults for, um, for Habitat is in projects or in C projects. We'll get to um, how you can configure um, other URLs or other paths uh, in, in a second. But um, in here you do a new clone. I'm using Church's Git. So go and create the, um, the, the clone on your local machine. And um, after a while you should have cloned the whole thing onto your local machine. Now at this point, um, we go into Sim. We set up a local uh, version of of um, Sitecore. Install the instance. We will um, use the latest version of Sitecore 8.1. So in this case, the initial release. Um, and the default URL for the instance is um, habitat.local. And the default location for the um, um, for the website is c colon websites habitat local again this is a url that and a location that can be changed so we go ahead and create it and click through the wizard and after a while it should have set, uh, set up um, your local instance uh, and if you go ahead and open it in the browser, it is a clean um, Sitecore instance. At this point, what we want to do is um, go and open up uh, Visual Studio. So open up Visual Studio 2015. We will open the project under um, C Projects Habitat. Now at this point, we can go in and look at the configuration of the um, of the locations. So there are three files you need to change. Gulp config uh, configures some of the tasks that are run inside Visual Studio using Gulp. And these are the locations um, for the website and the binaries from Sitecore. Um, the second configuration is the publishing settings inside Sitecore or in, uh, inside Visual Studio. So if you do a publish inside Visual Studio, this is the URL that would be published to. And then the third one is the um, settings for Sitecore configuration, the source folder, which is used for serialization, and the data folder that's used for, um, for log files and things like that. At this point, I um, just want to highlight the task runner. So if we go into other windows um, and task runner explorer, then you will find the task runner. We'll use this um, to copy the local um, binaries into the, uh, into the source location. So this will pick up the files from the website uh, folder into the projects folder under lib sitecore. So we'll have the assemblies in there. Now at this point we can go and uh, do a, a rebuild and this will uh, first of all restore all the NuGet packages that were being used and um, after that it will do a rebuild of the solution and there we go everything is rebuilt. So now, yep, after it's done, then uh, we can start running some of the publishing tasks. Um, now the first 
task we want to run is um, the um, a publish out of the framework project. So these are um, these are the, um, the projects that are under framework. So under here, um, likewise, um, we will publish the um, the projects that are under domain. So this publishes all the uh, views and the configurations and the assemblies out to the website. Um, you only need to do this when you're doing serious changes. We'll get back to how the files are being published. So and lastly, the projects, uh, the, the ones under the project in the project layer. So at this point, um, we need to serialize the items into Sitecore. So we will go to um, slash unicorn. And in here, we'll start by serializing the um, the f some of the framework projects, the asset project, um, because this is used by the Habitat um, data. These are just simple projects. Now, the next one is the root items and all the templates for Habitat. So this is here and quite a lot of items. And finally, um, the content for the website. So we'll sync that in as well. There we go. Now in the future, you can just click this configuration, do a sync once you, uh, when you do the, uh, do a new um, pull from, from GitHub. So at this point, we can go and uh, refresh the website, open up the website, and we will see everything is loaded um, perfectly. Now, when you're working with the solution itself, you can use some of the auto-publishes. Um, there is uh, a number of bindings set up. So once the project is opened, it will bind two tasks. So auto-publish of CSS. The CSS auto-publish um, publishes changes to CSS files or SAS files. If you have a SAS compilation set up, um, then any change in this file will mean that CSS files are automatically copied to the website. Likewise, views will run um, all the CSS HTML files. Finally, after a build, um, any assemblies that have changed will be copied so that if I do a rebuild of the solution or if it's just a single rebuild of a project, then um, the assemblies that have changed will be copied across as you see in a second. There you go. So two files have changed and then it'll trigger the um, publish of the assemblies.